we have a major development in computer engineering that could make our smart devices much more efficient. Researchers Zhou Wei Gao and Tingjun Chen from Duke University and others have created a new system called the WISE architecture. Their work solves a big problem for devices like drones and smart cameras. They usually run out of battery quickly when running smart programs. The team developed a wireless edge network that uses radio waves to perform calculations instead of using standard computer chips. Want to know more? Check out in Tech Magazine's official website for the full details. Hello everyone and welcome to the Intec Magazine's News Digest for week 2nd of January, 2026. I'm Diora, excited to share 10 incredible stories from the world of science and technology this week. These discoveries and innovations are shaping our future in remarkable ways. Next, artificial intelligence is helping itself get smarter. Researchers Hima Patel and team have developed a new AI framework that automatically organizes and cleans up messy data for machine learning published in the ACM Journal of Data and Information Quality. This system is like a super-organized assistant that sorts through massive amounts of information. It checks data quality, finds patterns, and suggests improvements. This technology could make machine learning more useful in healthcare, education, and engineering. Communication technology just got a major upgrade. Scientists at the University of Nottingham and Imperial College London have created a laser system that sends messages faster than ever before. The team, including Benjamin Dews and others, developed a system that uses laser pulses lasting only femtoseconds, one quadrillionth of a second. These laser messages can work even when obstacles block the direct path. This could be perfect for robots in factories or self-driving cars on busy streets. The technology uses special crystals and ultra-thin sensors, making it small enough to fit on chips. Space fans, this one is for you. Dr. Victoria Fawcett from Newcastle University, with colleagues from Durham University, has made a discovery about black holes and the radio waves they produce. Using data from the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, the team found that black holes surrounded by more dust send out stronger radio signals than those with less dust. They call these dusty ones red quasars and the cleaner ones blue quasars. This helps us understand how galaxies and their central black holes grow and change over time. It is like finding a new piece of the cosmic puzzle that explains how our universe became what it is today. Our journey continues to Jupiter's moon Europa. Scientists Paul Byrne from Washington University and Chris German from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution are leading research that suggests Europa seafloor might be calm and quiet. Unlike Earth's ocean floors with volcanic activity, Europa's seafloor seems to have little geological activity. This means there might not be enough energy for life like we find in Earth's deep oceans. This research is part of a NASA project with 16 labs, preparing for the Europa Clipper mission in 2031. Scientists are getting closer to understanding how our brains store memories. Researchers including Jia Zhang, Andreas Jetnin, and others from Cedars sinai Medical Center and the University of Toronto are studying how memories form and last. They found that memories are stored through changes in connections between brain cells, called neurons. When these connections get stronger, it becomes easier for your brain to recall information. This research could lead to new treatments for memory-related diseases like Alzheimer's. We look at the red planet. You might think Mars is a quiet, frozen desert, but new research shows it is actually electrically active. A team led by planetary scientist Alien Wang from Washington University in St. Louis and others has found that dust storms on Mars drive powerful chemistry. In their study published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters, they explain that when dust grains collide during storms, they generate static electricity. These electrical discharges are strong enough to change the minerals and gases on the surface. Scientists have built the world's smallest fully programmable robots powered by light. Mark Miskin from the University of Pennsylvania, David Blau from the University of Michigan, and their team created robots smaller than a grain of salt. These robots can swim, sense temperature, and follow programmed paths. They are powered by tiny solar panels and can work for months. The robots could be used in medicine, manufacturing, and environmental monitoring. Scientists are studying sunspots and active regions on the sun to understand solar storms. Solar active regions are areas with strong magnetic fields and are the source of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Understanding them helps scientists predict space weather. 
and protect satellites and power grids on Earth. Scientists at Humboldt University in Berlin and the University of Stuttgart have created quantum memory that fits on a computer chip. Led by Esteban Gomez Lopez, Dominic Ritter, the team built tiny light cages using advanced 3D printing. Think of it like a memory stick, but for quantum information, it works at room temperature and has lasted five years without wearing out. This could make quantum computers faster and more reliable, changing how we process information in the future. That wraps up another exciting week in science and technology. From quantum computers, to tiny robots, from distant moons, to our own brains, researchers around the world continue to push the boundaries of knowledge. To read these articles in detail, visit intechonline.com. There you will find in-depth coverage, references, and more amazing stories. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss future science content. Don't forget to share it with friends who love science. Which story excited you the most? Let us know in the comments below. See you next week.